Okay. Stupid ass car crash. I'm gonna go see if uh ugh, get out of here. if I can find that uh Gunther and the God what was the the Olga. The Olga and Zelengorsk. I'm gonna go see if those are still there. I hope they are. Well, the Olga's gone. That sucks. <clears throat> it was too close to being fully built for it to sit around much longer. After I check uh, Zelengorsk here, I'm gonna head over to where that red Gunther was. See if that thing's still there. Nails. Hopefully that car is still there, but I kind of doubt it, honestly. But you never know. Get the fuck out of here. Oh man, that's the first M4 that I have found in forever. Holy shit. That's too cool, man. Got a magazine for it right now. Damn, that's awesome. I was starting to think that you had to find them in uh, helicopter crash sites. Okay, back to base. Dug up a bunch of shit. Made a mess. <clears throat> but... I did bring back, well these are wolf pelts that I dug up, but I go down to a barrel, got my garden lime, put that in the leather tanning, and from what I do know, I should just have to put the wolf pelt in here. And uh, wait for a while, and that should make tanned leather. So close that up. And I already filled this barrel with a shit ton of water. You can see that little uh, bar above the F button. That's uh, above half full. That's, I don't know I, how many jerry cans of water that I've poured into this barrel, but it's a lot. So there's water already in there. Two uh, wolf pelts from killing a couple wolves. And that uh, garden lime in the slot. Oops, shit. I didn't mean to open that back up. I don't know if it has to be closed or not. I'm just kind of... Trying to remember what I've been told about leather tending and whatnot. And I think we take these nails, unbox them, and I'll put that in the uh, the cloak. I open that? No way. Oh shit, it worked. There's one. And leather. And that used up about a quarter of the bag of garden lime. But what I'm going to try to use those nails to do is uh, dye my uh, vest over here. Let's see if I can do that. I'll take a, I'm not sure how much water that used up, but 
There's an absolute bunch in there. I spent a bunch of time filling up the jerry can and pouring it in there. It takes a kind of ridiculous amount of time. And while I wait for that to finish up, I'm going to bury these bags and chests and whatnot. Yeah, look at that. It just opened by itself. It must just, uh... Open when it's uh finished there. Look at that. We stack it up to eight. Okay. So now I got some tanned leather. And let's see if I can just do this right away. I got the leather sewing kit. Combine. Hmm, is it not enough? No. Maybe. Hmm. We'll try to figure that out in a minute here. But I got the, the leather tanned anyway. That's the first step. I'm hoping to be able to make uh, leather clothes and whatnot. But I'm not sure if they took that out. I thought I read somewhere that they took out the uh, the leather crafting, but if you can tan the leather, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, craft that up. All right, clothes dyeing. No, leather dyeing. Clothes dyeing. My bad. No, can't put the nails in there. Hmm. It must be just the bark. That's got a berry symbol. But I thought I remember reading or watching that some guy was dyeing his clothes, or maybe it was the leather, with uh, nails. We can also use bark and stuff, but I'll have to try that later. Gotta bury all this shit. Okay, from what I saw on the uh, the Daisy Wiki or whatever, <clears throat> you should definitely be able to take this tanned leather and com combine it. with a leather sewing kit and you should be able to make uh, shirt, pants, uh, leather backpack but uh, it is not working so as of right now I'm filming this Daisy 1.04 the, uh, the leather crafting is bullshit. <laughs> you can tan the leather, but uh, you can't craft it in any clothes or anything. As of right now, which is a bummer. I was actually uh, looking forward to that. Then you can use nails or bark to uh, <clears throat> dye it. That's not working right now either. So that sucks. Anyway, I need to go check on that uh, Gunther. The Olga's gone. I crashed the other car. And I'm going to go see if that Gunther is still there. See if it's worth finding another wheel and uh, filling it with whatever fluids it needs. Oh, look at that. My dude's hand is stuck on the shovel. What the hell? That's weird. Oh, alright. On to that fucking car.
Son of a bitch. Oh, Gunther's gone too. I'm having the worst luck with cars, man. The car that I end up getting together is an already busted up piece of shit. Then <laughs> I run into a stump. Oh man, what can you do? I'm gonna check a couple more spots to see if I can find a car that aren't too far off, but... I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out a new game plan. Try to find some uh, more box of nails to uh, build the mother base eventually. Still kind of scouting out spots. I got two two really good spots that I found, but I don't know. There's still so much more of the map, you know. Shit. got everything but one wheel. Doesn't have the spark plug. Somebody park that shit here. Alright, I looked all around. Trying to find if, uh... I could see where he buried that other wheel. If he did. But all that's missing is one wheel and a spark plug. And I have one Olga wheel and a spark plug back at my base. I'm gonna go grab it, and hopefully that car is still here when I get back. And I'm gonna steal that shit. Sweet. There's my Olga wheel. Alright, I need to find my spark plug. And then I'll be able to head out. And hopefully that car's still there. And I can nab it. There's a the spark plug. Is still there. Tug Speedman stars in putting another car together, part seven. Here we go again, again. All right. Since this thing's already put together like this, I'm just gonna assume that there's already gas and oil in this thing. So I'm just gonna throw everything in. And I'm going to try to drive off. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Stolen Olga. Oh, man. That's fucking sweet. Oh, that is too good, man. 
stolen Olga. Fucking cruising, man. Alright, let's see if I can get this back to a safe spot. I still got a ways to cruise, so... Oh, man, I'm pumped. This is fucking sweet. I almost just crashed it, trying to take that screenshot. Alright, got my stolen Olga. Hidden in the uh, trees here. I'm gonna take off a wheel, put it in that wet bag. This is how I do it. I throw a, a wheel, and then I usually uh, grab the battery and stick it in there too. And we might as well take the spark plug out of there. Put it in the dry bag. And then we'll bury this until we need to use the car again. But fuck yeah, a successful stolen fucking car. Pretty sweet. Now if I can load this thing up with lumber and some more boxes of nails, I can start on a, a mother base. But this thing was low on gas, so... I don't think I'm going to drive it again until I can find another tank of gas and fill this thing up. Because as of now, I don't have a, a way to put gas in this thing until I find another jerry can. But yep. Hard part's done. Got the car hidden away in the woods. Now I just got to find another gas can. And I'll look for a bunch of uh, boxes of nails while I do that. Hell yeah.
now that uh, that's over, I need to search this ship and get the hell out of here. shit. That car is gone. Damn, I had that thing less than like 12 hours. Shit, that's a bummer, man. Oh man, cars are frustrating. That one's gone. Had it less than a day. It either got stolen or destroyed. Either or. Oh well. Cars don't last long in this game at all, man. Shit. Oh shit. That's smoke over there. I think that's a helicopter crash. Oh shit. Drop all this. Go, run! Shit, they got a zombie bite right now. You know what, I'm just gonna pop these zombies real quick. Just to get them out of the way and not have to worry. Oh shit. There we go, I finally hit him. Oh, this better not be just a bunch of fucking clothes. LAR polymer buttstock. How about an LAR? Get the fuck out of here. Did somebody already loot this thing? PSO1 scope, a VSD mag. No, 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 no. This thing is to have more. Oh, no. Alright, so somebody either already looted this thing. Or it's just a bunk helicopter crash. Which could be possible, man. Night vision scope. Just gonna double check around here. Damn it. Usually they got a fucking LAR or a VSS or something cool with these goddamn heli crashes. Bummer. Nothing cool with this one, though. Shit. Ah, uh, one more time around. Hey, okay, wooden buttstock. It almost looks like somebody already found this. Shiza. Oh, well. Still cool to find one, though. They're usually so rare. Well, not usually. They are really damn rare.
fucking... That zombie didn't even give a shit. That fucking... Grenade went off. Like, whatever. More base upgrades. Whoop whoop. <laughs> See what I got here. I got two lights. Two construction lights. Which Yeah. Oh, can I not set it there? I got so many stash spots in this thing. I wonder if I can set it up here. No. Can't set the light up there. Damn, do I got any room? Set of light? I got stash lumps everywhere. Okay, well. Let's just set this one up here. Maybe I can set one on the opposite side. I'm just facing the opposite direction, I mean. Alright, light number two set up. I got my cable. And plug that into the generator. And connect my construction light. I should have another cable right here. Yeah. Plug that in. Plug in the other light. And I already have a a spark plug in this generator over here, which is all you need in the generator as of now to get it going. Turn the generator on. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, why'd I do that? Jeez. <laughs> Set this stupid thing back up. It should be just clicking and turns them on, I believe. There we go. How's this one? That one's not connected anymore. Position. Connect. There we go. That one's on. Let's see if I can get in the right spot to, uh... Oh, this one. Let's see. We got too much stuff. Reposition this one. Switch that one on. Oops. I dropped that cable reel when I switched that one on. Next. Alright, hold on one second here. Got all this stuff too close together. Close that barrel. Move this lock. I don't want to lock it back up just yet. Ugh. 
Holy shit. Why is it so hard to select these things? Take, reposition. Will you just let me look at the other one? Or do I need to mess with this? Cable. Let's just unplug it. And I will take this into my hands. Try this again. Need to make sure I'm looking at the right one here. I don't think I can plug into that one since it's already plugged into. Man, these things are a bitch to look at. There we go. Connected. Well, I don't know why I just dropped the cable reel. There we go. Switch on. All right, now. All right, they both work. Got lights that will make my base incredibly noticeable. I'll probably never use them. <laughs> but you got lights anyway. All right. <clears throat> Next upgrade was the uh, the sheet metal, which is super easy. I think I got footage of doing that earlier, but you just got to take the sheet metal. Which one do I want to put it on here? I'll just put it on here. And just put it, that little wavy sheet metal line, right next to where you put the wood. And all you do is disassemble the wood part and then you reassemble a metal wall, lower or upper, whichever one you disassembled. Also got barbed wire going here, which I think I can put some on the top here. Oh, that's already got top and bottom. I just need to install it. And that one's got some on there. I just need to install it. I need to install that one. And luckily, I found the pliers that I need to install this. But I'm pretty sure I have to look at it from the outside. Mount. There we go. Now I know I have. Oh shit! It's cutting me. Damn! I thought I had some in the top. Oh, there it is. Oh shit! That barbed wire just made me pass out, man. That's insane! Holy shit, they really upped the uh, the damage of the barbed wire there. Wow. My own base just knocked me the fuck out. That's a... Uh, that's a bummer, man. I'm laying there. That's awesome. Holy shit. My pants are all fucking ruined. Oh, wow. I hope my pants aren't ruined. They're damaged. That thing tore my pants up and it knocked me out. That's a uh, pretty hardcore. Holy shit. Put your pants back on, man. Alright. This, uh, Where's my... I dropped what I was holding. Damn it. I'm trying to 
can't really mount the top one. I'm just gonna take the bottom one off. I was trying to... I'm gonna try one more. No, fuck it. Take this one out of the top spot. Because you're supposed to be able to mount them on top and bottom, but... It seems to be kind of stuck in that tree that's in front of my gate. So I'm just going to leave that be for now. And just have one on the bottom. Mount the barbed wire on the watchtower here. Mount the barbed wire on this side. And I think I want to put some barbed wire. Probably around this side with these gaps. That way if anybody's trying to uh, poke through there. It should give them a little pinch. Nice. Barbed wire on that side. That's awesome. Alright, put these pliers away. Lock this up. But yeah, we got barbed wire on the gate and some of the walls. And they, they must have upped that damage with the barbed wire, because damn, I've never been knocked out by barbed wire before. That's awesome. And then we got lights here. That are fucking crazy bright. That's pretty fucking sweet, man. Upgrades. So we got this little stove here. But yep. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. I think I got all my stuff that I'm going to need to make my ghillie suit here. Put that in there. Put that down there. Alright, so I got four, five, six netting and 25 burlap strips. <clears throat> I, that's more than enough burlap strips, but. Alright, take our four netting, combine it, next recipe, next recipe. Craft ghillie suit. Alright, ghillie suit is now on the ground right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make the next one. The next item here. Which I want to craft the ghillie hood. Alright, ghillie suit, ghillie hood. Now I got one more for my... Gilly rifle wrap. Alright, jump back over to this bag here. I'm gonna take out my CR527. That's gonna be my my sniping weapon here. Or when I got this ghillie suit on. Take out my magazines for it. Put this stuff away real quick. All right. 
that's pretty much everything for the most part. PU scope. Got plans for that stiff. Put these nails in there. Can do that. Alright, so I need to organize some stuff and then I'll put on my my gilly stuff. Okay. Organized a bunch of crap and uh, got the ghillie suit on. <laughs> so, I was able to keep my night vision goggles by sticking them on the, uh, the head strap and then that goes under the ghillie hood. So I'll still be able to use my night vision. I'm keeping the uh, the bulletproof vest on just in case and I decided to use the KA-74 instead of the CR-527 mainly because I got a silencer on there and I can switch up to the night vision scope when I need to uh, see at night so that's going to be sweet. I'll be able to use my night vision goggles and then switch right over to the night vision scope. Which would be super prime for uh, sniping during the nighttime. So I'm going to have to cook all this meat up. Maybe go uh, get it some target practice in and then start looking for places to camp out some busy spots to uh, snipe at but yeah got base upgrades going got uh, ghillie suit going got a lot of stuff covered in this one got a lot done that's awesome but that's gonna do it for this one mm -hmm.